a really simple concept that loads of you have told me recently that you found helpful that I've shared with you is the idea of an I can cycle. So I'm just going to summarise that idea super quickly here so that more of you can try it out. So the idea here is that many children who are struggling, their life feels like it's full of things that they can't do. They might feel that they're failing, that they're unable to do things, go places, achieve in certain ways, and they probably could create for you a long list of the things that they can't do. And what we want to do is to try and move them away from that sort of mindset of, of failure and challenge with regards to everything and start helping them to realise that there are things that they can do. Now, where this can go wrong sometimes is that we might, for example, have a child who's struggling to attend school and we set our sights too high and we kind of set them up for failure. So instead of creating an I can cycle, we feed into the I can't. So a child who maybe hasn't attended for many days, weeks or even months, if they then try to attend and don't manage to get over the threshold of school, then suddenly this is another thing that they feel that they failed at. If, however, we kind of backpedal and we lower our kind of target, our aim, our goal for that child to something that we're really confident that with scaffolded support that they can do, then we start to create building blocks for this kind of I can cycle where we can build our successes. So instead of saying, we're going to try and get you to attend school for one day this week, which might feel like a good in, but it's still big and scary if you've not been for a while. We might be saying to that child, OK, how about if you at home wore part of your school uniform for an hour? Do you think you can do that? And if that feels achievable for that child, then we do that and we say, right you can do this. They know I can wear my school uniform in the safety of my bedroom. Then we think about what the next step is. And we're always just thinking tiny, tiny, tiny steps. And what you find is that by creating this cycle of I can, allowing the child to achieve, allowing the child to succeed, beginning to just disrupt that mindset of I can't, that we begin to see that there is a possibility of success here and we can build and we can build and we can build. So the steps don't need to be big. They can be really incremental. And sometimes we won't succeed and we go back to the thing that we know that we can do. And then we start to work our way up again. So tiny, tiny, tiny steps. You might work through some of these steps really rapidly, but building on success. I can, I can, I can, I can. Trying to disrupt the I can't cycle. I hope it's a helpful idea. As I said, it's a really, really simple one, but it has many different applications. I'd love to hear how you're using this idea or if you've got other ideas that you think are super helpful for children who are really struggling right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.